Hello friends, Del Lou here. I'm going to be working on a watercolor today and I hope that um, you'll stick with me. I'm showing you actually somewhere in the middle of what I'm doing. I had videotapes that I made on my cell phone but unfortunately I spent a lot of time trying to get them from my cell phone into this, um, this YouTube video. However, um, I'm just going to go back over some things I shared in the beginning. Um, as I said, I'm about halfway finished here, but I'm taking my painting composition from a photograph I took in France. Actually, it was a place we had a picnic lunch, and if you can see over here, these are umbrellas over tables where we had our lunch earlier that day. And we were on our way to Claude Monet's pond and house and property and gardens. And this was a really nice place, a nice memory. And that's what I think photographs are for. And then when we take those photographs and put them into paintings, then um, we, we embellish those memories even more. And so I have chosen this scene for that reason. Now I am using watercolor, as I said in the beginning. Uh, the first thing I did was to do a, a sketch and I did my sketch with a, a number two, well actually this is a 4B drawing pencil, and I encourage you to do that, and it seems to me that this is more necessary with watercolor than with oils, because watercolors are less forgiving, for example. And I also used to, um, mask some of the areas I wanted to remain white so I didn't have to work around them. I used Miskit, Brumbacher Miskit. And with this Miskit, there are a few things you really need to remember. One thing is that if you use a good brush, you're likely gonna mess it up because it dries quickly in the brush and once it dries, there's little possibility that it's actually going to come out again. And I recommend that you keep a little bar of soap with your misket. This, as you may recognize, is motel soap. And I just take my brush and if I can get to it. I take my brush and I, I first wet it and then I just scrub it on the top of this soap bar and get plenty of soap in it before I dip it into the miskit. Now the miskit does, does need to be shaken quite vigorously until all of this orange, pink, or whatever color yours happens to be is dissolved into the, the rest of the liquid. Then, as soon as you're finished using your brush, immediately put it into the water, then put some more soap in it, wash it out just as soon as possible. And Miskit works um, about as well as anything, I guess. And I have come to a point where I've started to remove some of my Miskit. And you can remove Miskit with, um, it's a little square. And now I'm, I'm forgetting what it is, but you can also use your, your thumb or your finger to just roll it off. It's a little bit like gum. And in terms of paint brushes, I began this painting with a watercolor brush. I should have, I should have unwound this before, but I used a watercolor wash brush for my 
sky. And then I begin my tree with the same brush, but I decided it wasn't giving me sharp enough edges. And so I turned then to my reservoir brush, which I really enjoy. This is a pintail. And with this brush, you can turn it on the side and make wide strokes or turn it up and get very fine points. Then the nice thing about having the water in the, the handle is that you can immediately just deposit some water. Let me see if I can get something to do that on. If you're working in an area and your paint's getting dry, just drip some water there. So um, I'm going to complete this and straighten up some edges and decide where I want to go from here. I have quite a bit of green left to add in here and then I have my roof that needs considerable um, shaping up. So um, I'll be back in a few moments to talk about what I'm doing, what I have done, and please stay with me. And thank you for joining me. I apologize ahead of time for the changes in lighting, uh, which also seems to change the mood of the painting, but I am working in daylight and a combination of LED lamps, and so that's just changing from time to time, and um, that's just the way of my world right now. But I appreciate your watching anyway, and I hope that you gain something for your time.
notice that I continue to move around the painting and that allows me to have a greater sense of harmony in the color. If I get stuck in one place for too long, that place becomes rigid and automatically takes the viewer's eye straight to that place where I've spent so much time and effort.
one of the reasons that I like to record these demonstrations is that it allows me to get a different perspective on my work as I go along. So after a certain amount of time, I take my videos back to my computer and actually look at them with new eyes. And then I go back to the drawing board, as it were, and work on them some more. So I hope it's worthwhile for you to work to watch what it is I'm doing along the way. And if you have questions or comments, please feel free to add those down below. Well, every time I think I'm finished, I see something else I want to do. And while I'm thinking about it, I did find the brochure for that particular day that we took the tour to this particular mill and discovered that the name of it is Les Moulins des Forges. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but if I'm not, that's okay too. Um, I was close enough. But um, now I'm going to do some highlighting with some white gouache. Some people don't think you ought to use white at all, but um, if you need to, do it. And I think I need to, a few things that just beg for it. Sure, column is done. I'm sure, I could do more. Um, but we're going to pretend that I'm not, and that I'm ready to move the tape.
always a good idea to have some, some notion of what size you want this to be, um, watercolors especially, because usually you mat and frame them. And you can always cut a mat, of course, to fit whatever your painting turns out to be. However, um, buying mats already cut in standard sizes and frames that are in standard sizes makes a lot more sense. So, there we have it. And thank you so much for joining me. And please like, comment, and certainly subscribe to my channel and look for my video for the oil painting of the same composition. Thank you again. Goodbye.